so thank you again for being here. I'm excited to talk to you today about kind of the basics of uh, our, the RStudio Connect internals and sort of what's going on behind the scenes in the server and how you can manage it and interact with it. So we're going to cover uh, a few different topics today. So we'll start with uh, just a basic introduction to what is our Studio Connect. So if you're unfamiliar um, or that you're new to this product, then uh, you know we'll cover that briefly. Um, secondly, we'll talk about uh, installation and setup <coughs> and kind of what you need to do and, and things that you need to be aware of uh, in order to configure the product. And then lastly, we'll dive a little bit deeper into a few different areas on some details about how the product works and uh, some, some nuances that you should be aware of. Um, as Ann mentioned, we will be doing a follow-on webinar to this one in a couple of weeks. And in that webinar, we're, we'll actually go into a lot more detail in this third section around more details and um, some, some more things that you should be aware of if you want to manage this product in a production environment. Um, and then we'll conclude with a demo of the product so that if you haven't seen it yet, you'll, uh, you'll have an opportunity to, to get a feel for what it is. So our Studio Connect is an enterprise publishing and management platform. It can handle static and dynamic content, basically anything that you can create with R, including documents, presentations, dashboards, and Shiny applications. And uh, so one of the nice things about this is that it has push-button publishing from the RStudio IDE. And so uh, if you're using a recent version of the IDE, you'll see this little publish button that you see here up at the top right. Uh, you should be able to click that and click publish to RStudio Connect. And if you register an account on an RStudio Connect server, you'll be able to seamlessly publish documents and R Markdown documents and uh, Shiny applications and anything else that you're producing in the IDE into Connect. Uh, it is an on-premises enterprise product, so this is not an open source product, uh, but it is something that you can install uh, behind your firewall and um, you know, it's not a hosted environment. Uh, and lastly, it obviously is, is meant for kind of sharing data science artifacts within your organization. So this is a sneak peek of kind of what uh, most of your users are going to see when they look at our Studio Connect. So on the right here, this is kind of the full panel, and you can see uh, the majority of the space is taken up uh, on the lower left here by the Shiny application. This is what your users or you uh, would be creating uh, to, to share within your organization. Uh, up at the top, you can see we have kind of a settings toolbar and uh, some management there of the content. And then over on the right, you've got your settings panel. Uh, which is where you can manage, in this case, the performance of the Shiny application. Uh, you can see another screenshot separately on the left here of what it looks like to manage the access controls of uh, different content on the server as well. And so this is one of the key features of Connect is that you're going to be able to go in, publish directly from the IDE, and now you have this web interface to be able to go in and navigate and, and manage your content uh, and set who should be able to see it and who shouldn't. So in order to get started with our Studio Connect, uh, you're first just going to want to download and install it. So you can download it from this link here, um, or you can find it on our website, uh, a similar link that will let you register and download. Before you get started with Connect, you will need to install R. Uh, and depending on which distribution you're using, you can either do that from uh, your package manager, uh, most have R, uh, or if you're looking for a particular version of R, you can compile it from source. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Connect is made available as either a Debian or an RPM installer file. Uh, and so the installation should be pretty seamless. You should just be able to, uh, on any of the listed distributions here, Ubuntu 12, 14, or 16, or Red Hat, uh, or CentOS 6 and 7, uh, you should just be able to run a command or two uh, to be able to get Connect and any dependencies that we have uh, up and running on your server. So at that point, you should actually have Connect installed, and it should be no more difficult than that. Um, but one of the first things that you're going to want to do is go in and start configuring the server. And so uh, you can see here an example on the right of what a configuration file looks like. And uh, so this, these are just some of the basic settings that you might be interested in managing on the server. Um, <clears throat> and so up at the top here you can see you've got your sender email. That's the email address from which you'll be sending um, any outgoing email on the, on the server will be sent. Uh, you've got your address, which is the URL where users should uh, expect to come back to your server. And then you've got basic settings here around, you know, which ports do you want to be listening on. If you want to use SSL, you can set up your certificate and your key. Uh, and then you can also configure authentic 